How's it going? Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to do a quick one, 30 minutes uh, EMOM style workout. So uh, EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. Uh, basically that means you have a certain amount of work that you're trying to get done within that minute. The faster you get it done, the more time you have to recover for the remaining portion of that minute. For example, if I have 20 squats to do in a minute, the faster I get those squats done, the more time I have till the rest of that minute expires before you move on to something else. So that will be the style of everything that we do today. For our warm up, we'll uh, dive into it. We'll give you a little bit of a uh, tutorial on how it's all run. And then we have two 10 minute EMOMs that we will be doing um, that are a little bit more strength based uh, today as well. So let's go ahead and we'll start. You can tell I have a clock here. Uh, the only equipment that you will need for today's workout is a clock. If you have one, a watch, a clock on the wall, anything like that, and a set of dumbbells. If you do not have a set of dumbbells, anything would work. Grab two uh, jugs of water, two wine bottles, uh, anything along those lines that you feel like would add a little bit of weight. If you still do not have that option, that is okay. I will give some um, exercises as we go along to modify for complete body weight exercise as well. So um, let's go ahead. We're going to do a quick five minute EMOM to do a warm up here. So five minutes, you'll see the revolving clock and uh, let's just jump on into it. This first minute, we are going to start with 20 squats. Um, after those 20 squats, we were going to do pulsing squats for the remaining portion of this minute. All right, so here we go. One minute clock, let's start 20 full squats, all the way down, all the way back up, drive out on those knees, chest up as we sink down into that squat. Stay back on our heels, all the way down as we get a little bit warmed up, a little bit more depth on that squat if we can. As you can see, knees are pushing out with each rep. I like to keep my hands up, keeps my torso up as we go. Keep moving on those 20 squats right now. When you finish your 20 squats, we are dropping all the way down into our squat position and you're gonna pulse at the bottom. Maintain a good squat position, keep that chest up and continue to pulse. Keep it going here. We got under 20 seconds on this first set. Keep pulsing them out. Here we go as 10 seconds expires here. Our next exercise that we're gonna dive into is 30 mountain climbers. So as soon as this bell goes off, drop it on down into plank position, right into it. 30 mountain climbers, keeping our torso down, hips down, tighten up the core. We're going into that mountain climber, 30 total reps. So pull those knees in 30 times. Good, continue it on when you are done with your 30. You are going to hold that plank for the rest of the minute. So hold on to that plank as long as you can for the remaining portion of that minute. Tighten up the core, tighten your glutes, tighten your hamstrings. Keep that good plank position. Nice, good, deep breaths as we go. We are under 30 seconds here. Keep going on that plank. Good. Our next exercise is coming up here in under 20 seconds. We are going to stand it back up, or excuse me, we are going to flip it around onto our mat, and we are going to go into 15 full sit-ups. Almost done with this plank hold, and let's lay it on back onto our mat. Full sit-ups, touch overhead, touch our toes, all the way down, all the way back up for 15 reps. 15 reps, full sit-ups. I'll do them with you guys. Move through five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you move through, five more to go here, guys. When you are done, you are going to go into just crunch pulses. So reach up past your knees and relax. So not full sit-ups anymore, just into a good ab burning crunch. So continue on those crunches for the rest of this time. 20 seconds to go. Keep it up here, keep moving on those crunches. We have two minutes left. After these crunches are over in eight seconds, we are flipping on around into 15 full push-ups. So if we have any push-ups on our toes, let's start with those all the way down, all the way back up for 15 reps. Try to lock out the shoulders at the top, lock out the elbows at the top, 
Keep the torso down, keep the hips down, stay in line in that plank position. If you do not have 15 on your toes, that is fine. Drop to your knees to finish them up. Still maintaining that good plank position from our shoulders to our knees. 15 full sit-ups or full push-ups. When you are done, hold that plank position and move into shoulder taps. So you can see here, when you are done with that, those push-ups, shoulder taps. Remaining portion of that minute, hold out that plank. Nice steady torso. Try not to rock side to side as you are doing those shoulder taps. Yeah, you got about 15 seconds to go. We got one minute coming up, one minute left of our warm up. Keep that plank position. Nice, quick shoulder taps. Stay steady. Almost there. Our last exercise is here for our warm up eight cardio burpees, kicking out, kicking back up, and jump overhead. So we're not doing that push up portion of the burpee, just kick out to a plank and jump overhead. Eight good full cardio burpees. When you are done with those cardio burpees, you will finish up by standing up and finishing with jumping jacks for the rest of the minute. So move through those eight. Got about 30 seconds to go. A few more cardio burpees when you are done, all the way up. I'm trying to get those legs warmed up now. Arms overhead, get those shoulders going. Finish with jumping jacks. 20 seconds to go. Good. Should be starting to feel nice and warm now. We got 15 seconds, continuing on. Still move through those jumping jacks. Get those legs out wide, hands up, touch overhead. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, so that was our warm up. That is what an EMOM is. So every minute on the minute, you are gonna do a certain amount of work and then you will do in a different exercise or rest until the rest of the minute is over. So as we move into our next portion here, we have 10 minutes of an EMOM, 10 minutes of an EMOM. The even minutes, we are gonna do different exercises than the odd minutes. So minute number one, as we start, we are gonna start with 10 full thrusters. So this is where we'll grab our weights, full squats to overhead press, 10 full thrusters. When you are done with those 10 full thrusters, you will move into 10 squat jumps. So you'll drop the weights to the side and a full squat jump, so squat, and jump overhead. Minute number two, so our even minutes, we will move into 12 renegade rows. So a renegade row, holding those weights again. Plank position, good full row, all the way back down. 12 renegade rows. When you're done, drop to a low plank. 12 knee tucks, side to side, 12 knee tucks. So that will be our even minutes. So odd minutes, even minutes. So let's get going here in just a second. Grab those weights, get them ready to go. We are going to start with 10 full thrusters, squat to overhead. We'll start here in five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. 10 full thrusters, squat, overhead press, drive through the heels, lock out the elbows overhead, drop right back down in that next squat. 10, 10 thrusters, when you are done with those 10 thrusters, drop our weights. Still maintain that good squat position. 10 full squats into a jump. Nice, good jump. If jumping is not an option, drive through the toes into a full stand. Come up onto our calves or up onto our toes, working those calves for that squat. When you are done with the 20 reps, 10 and 10, you will rest. Rest for the rest of the minute. Breathe it out. So we want to go hard, as hard as we can for those 20 reps, and then rest and recover. Here we go, 10 seconds. We're going into minute two, which is our even minutes. Renegade rows are coming up here, so 12 renegade rows. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. 12, one, two, three. We want to stay steady through these guys. These do not need to be a fast movement. We want to get full range of motion. We want to keep our hips square. We try not to rock side to side. Good. Eight, nine, as you move through. When you are done with your 12, drop to that low plank, low plank position. We are moving those knees in. Good full squeeze, low plank knee tucks, side to side. 12 reps, 12 reps. We are under halfway, 25 seconds to go. When you are done with those 12, Go ahead and rest. Rest for the rest of that minute. 
Good, 15 seconds. This is our recovery time. So if you need some water, you can grab a quick sip of water. Be ready to go though in 10. We're moving back to thrusters. Full squat to overhead press, 10 reps. I'll do this minute with us. Here we go. 10 thrusters, down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. When you're done with the 10, drop the weights to the side. 10 squat jumps. We'll squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. As you can see here, works about 40 seconds if you go hard, 40 seconds hard, 20 seconds to catch our breath, recover. We are three minutes down. We have seven to go. We're coming back into Renegade Rose this round. So back to our plank position, Renegade Rows, 12 reps, 12 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. When you're done, push the weights to the side. 12 low plank knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good work. Keep it up. If you're finishing up, still finish here. We got 20 seconds, 20 seconds to go. We are four minutes down, so six minutes to go. Back to our third round of thrusters coming up. All right, grabbing those weights. Here we go, back to thrusters. Remember, even in fatigue, elbows underneath the weights as you squat. You don't wanna let your core tip over or your torso tip over. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on the lower back. So elbows underneath, full squat. As you drive through, really focus on our legs, pushing those weights up. It's not a squat and then a press. You wanna be pressing right as you get to the top of your, uh, top of your stand position as you drive overhead. When you are done with those thrusters, 10 squat jumps, same thing, full squat, drive through the heels into that jump. Good, 20 seconds to go. If you're finishing up here, remember this is your time. Grab a quick drink, recover. We got 10 seconds. We are halfway, halfway through this first AMRAP. Back to Renegade Rose. We got five minutes to go. Keep it going, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12. Down to 12 low plank knee tucks. As you fatigue with low plank, you really have a tendency to kind of let that boat butt float up in the air. Keep it down. Keep that knee coming around your body to your knee. Knee out around to your elbow for those knee tucks halfway through. Good work, keep going here. Finish up the 12 knee tucks. 12 knee tucks, we got 20 seconds, 20 seconds left. Good job guys, you can tell here, when you get a little fatigued, the rounds start to take you a little bit longer and your rest time starts to shrink a little bit. You wanna stay ahead of the clock. What I mean by that is go through those exercises hard and fast. Here we go, thrusters, 10 reps and go. Full squat, overhead, lock out those elbows overhead, press through the ceiling as you go through those thrusters, 10 full reps. Good, even in fatigue, remember you still wanna get all that full depth. You wanna get your knees or your thighs down to parallel position, so all the way down before driving back up and overhead. If you have any knee issues with these squats, do a little bit of a lower squat, but maintain good squat form. So what I mean by that is still start that squat with knees pushed out, torso up, sinking down into that squat. 
When you're done with the thrusters, you have the 10 squat jumps and then rest. Good job, we got 10 seconds here. We have three minutes to go, three rounds left. Back to our renegade rows, renegade rows. I'm gonna face you guys this way for this minute. When we do these renegades, it's very easy to twist as you pull. Let's try to avoid that as much as possible. Shoulders square to the ground, hips square to the ground. Pull up, keep the elbow in, stay balanced, and then release down slow. So even though we're trying to move hard and fast through these, still maintain good form. 20 seconds in, when you're done with those uh, renegades, you're back down to low plank, low plank, knee tucks. Good job guys, keep it going here. 25 seconds left. Good, low plank knee tucks. 20 seconds to go. Try to finish each and every minute hard and then recover. We got two rounds coming up left. 10 seconds here. I'll do these final two rounds with you guys. So we're doing thrusters first. 10 reps up into that plank position. Full squat, overhead press. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. When you're done, drop those weights. Ten squat jumps. One, two, a little bit more power with these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. If you're still finishing up, finish them up here. 25 seconds to recover. We got our final minute. Final minute to go, 15 seconds. We're starting again with the Renegades for our last round. Renegades and knee tucks coming up in five. Plank position, Renegades, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. When you're done, drop them down. A little plank, knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good job, when you're done, you will rest. This is your recovery time here. We have one more EMOM to go. Finish up 20 seconds if you're still working. Continue to work, 15. Good, 10 seconds. Finish strong. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. All right, so that was our first of two 10 minute EMOMs. We got our second one coming up right now. If you have the ability to go on a little jog, cool it down, catch our breath, just a little quarter mile, two minutes or less, go for that jog, pause the video, and come back uh, to it as soon as you get back. Give you just a second here to pause it and go. All right, if you're coming back off of our run, or if you just took a little bit of a break here, totally fine. Let's go into our second explanation of our second EMOM. So again, same thing. Odd minutes and even minutes. For our odd minutes, we are grabbing those weights. 12 step back lunge to hammer curl. So hammer curl, meaning palms facing our thighs for these or palms facing each other. We're gonna step back lunge, drop that knee to the ground. And as we do that, we are bringing those weights up into a hammer curl. Full stand, alternate legs on those lunges. After you are done with 12 step back lunge to hammer curl, Again, drop those weights, 12 lunge jumps. So lunge, alternating, 12 lunge jumps. If jumping is not an option for knee issues, anything like that, just quick step back lunges will work for 12, but no weights on those to finish up. For our even minutes, even minutes, we're doing 10 L sit-ups. So an L sit-up, we wanna dig those heels into the ground. We wanna have one weight in hand. That weight will stay directly between your head and the ceiling. 
So when you're on your back, that weight is directly between your head and the ceiling. As you sit up, that weight is gonna stay overhead, directly between your head and the ceiling. 10 L sit-ups. When you are done, maintain that weight in hand, heels up off the ground, 20 Russian twists. 20 Russian twists as we go. So that will be Imam number two. Odd minutes, we are doing lunges and lunge jumps. Even minutes, we are doing sit-ups and Russian twists, all right? So grab those weights, get ready to go. We're gonna start with our 12. 12, step back, lunge to curl. Here we go, and go. 12, one, two, three. We're trying not to swing those weights, guys. So as we lunge back, we want those weights to be stagnant and then come up into that lunge. Try not to swing them side to side here. Good, finish up those lunges, almost to 12. When you're done, drop the weights back to a lunge position. So one foot back, drop down, drive through, and switch legs. 12 jump lunges. Good. All the way through. We're halfway. Halfway through this minute. Good job. Finishing strong here. Again, if you cannot jump, that is okay. Just quick step back lunges. We're just trying to maintain getting that heart rate up a little bit as we do those. 10 seconds. Minute number two, L sit-ups. So grabbing one weight, lay it on down. 10 L sit-ups. Lock out the elbows, press overhead. One, two, three, four. We really wanna dig those heels into the ground. Try to keep them on the ground the whole time. Seven, eight, nine, and 10 when you're done. If you can, heels up off the ground as you can see here. Full twist of the shoulders, touch the weight to the ground side to side. If you are having any hip flexor issues, lower core issues are starting to burn, you can keep those heels on the ground. Just a good modification for those. Same thing with lower back pain. If you're having any lower back pain, keep the heels on the ground. Still get the full twist of the shoulders for 20 reps. 20 reps on those Russian twists. When you are done, we have 10 seconds before round number three. We're going back to our lunge to curl. I'm gonna face you guys this round so you'll see my arm position, hand position. Hands in, palms facing each other. Full squat to curl. 12 lunge to curl, 12 lunge to curl. Keep it going here. We've got 12 of them. When you are done with those 12, Drop the weights, lunge jumps, lunge position, squat and jump, squat and jump. So you're lunging, still driving through the leg, drive through that front leg, drive through the heel and switch. Good, 24 seconds, finish up those 12 reps. And then we are back down to our core work, coming up, good, 15. If you finished, recover, grab a quick drink, we're down. We're still going here. We got seven minutes left on this whole exercise here. Seven minutes to go. L sit-ups coming up. Weight overhead, heels dug into the ground. Full sit-up, hands up overhead. Keep the elbows locked out for those 12 or 10, excuse me, 10 L sit-ups. Good, moving through. Should have a few more to go when you're done. Moving into the Russian twist, I'm gonna face you guys this round so you can see my shoulder position. So heels up, shoulders should twist. You should use your entire obliques for these. Try to bring that weight down and then switch. These do not need to be fast. Try to keep them maintained under control the entire way for 20 Russian twists. Keep it going here, this is minute four, four of 10. We have 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds left. Good, we're moving into our third round, number three of our step back lunge to hammer curl. Step back lunge to hammer curl. Here we go, minute three, I'll do this round with you guys. 12 reps, lunge to curl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
11 and 12. Quickly into 12 lunge jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12. Good, and then recover. As you can see here, if you go hard, 40 seconds, 45 seconds should get it done. Keep it up. If you're still finishing, finish strong. 10 seconds to recover. We got five minutes to go and we're all done. I'm gonna do this set of 10 L sit-ups and 20 Russian twists. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. When you're done, pull that weight down. 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, finish it up here, catch our breath. 15 seconds to recover. Four minutes left. Four minutes to go. Here we go, back to lunge to curl. Stand tall, lunge it out. Hammer curl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Drop those weights, 12 lunge jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good job. 20 seconds recover here. We got three minutes to go. We are a minute seven of 10. Here we go. Coming up, L sit ups. Three minutes left. I'll do this one with you guys one more time. Weight overhead. Full sit up. Press out. One, two, three, four, five. Shoulder blades should hit the ground with each one. Six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job, finish it up. We got two minutes left. 15 seconds to recover. Our final round of lunges coming up. Cheer you guys on with this one. Here we go, our last ones. Try to get as much depth as we can in that lunge this round. Here we go, one, two. Keep the torso up, you can see as I lunge down, torso up. Stand all the way to center. Open up the hips in between each rep. Should be about halfway. Good job, keep moving. Good full curl all the way to our shoulders, all the way open. When you are done, drop the weights, lunge jumps, same lunge position, same stance, sink down into it. But this time you're exploding out, a plyometric movement and switch legs. Good, get those 12 done. It's our last 12 jumps. Good work, 15 seconds if you're done. Good job, rest, recover, we've got one final round. If you're still finishing up, finish strong. Good. All right, we got our last minute coming up. Down into L sit-ups, walk out overhead, press all the way to the ceiling. We're trying to use our core to press that weight up. We're not throwing that weight. You can tell if you get this overhead, you can get that momentum by throwing that weight. We're not trying to do that. Walk out the elbows, use the core, press to the ceiling, Get to a full L position, legs 
to torso. Full L position for 10 reps. When you are done, heels up this round. If you want a little bit greater challenge, straighten the legs. That's gonna work our lower core a little bit more as we go through those Russian twists. If you need that break, lower back starting to fatigue, core starting to fatigue, just drop the heels to the ground. Still finish strong with them, guys. Still finish strong. Good work, 12 seconds. And down to 10. Very nice, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, good job, guys. Until I'm out of breath, it's hot in here. I hope you guys are all staying healthy, staying strong. Um, at this point, I would definitely recommend if you can get out, go for a little quarter mile to half mile jog. If you're still feeling good, extend it out a little bit, but just a nice cool down, good steady pace jog. When you come back, get a few stretches in um, and drink lots of water. It's nice for you guys to join me today. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you.